how do we add um, positive and negative fractions and what do we do? Um, so let's start with um, a couple of strategies that I have and let's just start with positive fractions to remind ourselves um, how this strategy works with positive fractions. Let's start with something like one-fourth plus two-fourths. Because the denominator is the same in both, in other words, we know we're dealing with fourths, we could say one-fourth and two-fourths equals three-fourths. Okay, so if we had two-thirds plus one-fourth, now this is where things get a little bit more complicated, we can rewrite everything uh, in terms of a denominator that both fractions can share. So we look for the least common multiple of three and four. So the multiples of three are, well, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is 12. And I know that, well, four times one is four, doesn't match here. Four times two is eight, doesn't match. Four times three is 12. So thirds and fourths uh, can both be written as twelfths. How do we do that? Well, we have two thirds and we want to think of it as how many twelfths is that. We said that 3 times 4 is 12, so we take this 3, multiply by 4 to get 12, and we take this 2, also multiply by 4 to get 8. So 8 twelfths is 2 thirds. Now with the fourths right here, 4 times 3 was 12, so 4 times 3 is 12, and then multiply the numerator also by 3. So 3 twelfths is 1 fourth. So now we have this equation, and it's very similar up here, in the sense that the denominators, the numbers on the bottom, are the same. So we can just add right across. So 8 plus 3 on the top is 11, and 12 plus 12, this is where people get lost. Um, we're not saying it's 24. What we're trying to find out right now is if we have 8 twelfths and 3 twelfths, how many twelfths do we have? Well, 8 of them and 3 of them, we have 11 twelfths. So how would that look if we had negative numbers? So let's say we start with this example. And let's write it as 1 fourth plus negative 2 fourths. I should stop here for a second and talk about where the negative sign should go. If you have negative 2 fourths, you might see it written as this, as this, right in the middle, or as this. Don't worry, they're all the same. But what I recommend is that if you have one negative sign, put it in the numerator as it might make your life a little bit easier. So that's what we have right here. How do we do this? Well, we're going to use the same strategy as before. We're finding out how many fourths we have. So we're going to keep the denominator as 4. And then we add a cross. And we treat this as an equation 1 plus negative 2. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. And that's our answer. So here, what we get is negative 1 fourth. In this situation, if we had 2 thirds oops, two-thirds plus negative one-fourth, I would rewrite the equation just as I did right here. Except now, I come across multiplication of negatives. Not that big of a deal because um, our rules for multiplication are a positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive gives us a negative number, and if the signs are the same, negative times negative or positive times positive, we get a positive. And let me show you how that comes into play. So two-thirds, we multiply the top numerator and the bottom denominator by four and got eight-twelfths. Now, um, negative one-fourth, we're multiplying the numerator, negative one by three, and four by three, the denominator. So negative one times three is a negative times a positive. Think of it as just one times three, which is three, and then say, well, what value is it going to be? It's gonna be negative, because a negative and a positive multiplied together give us a negative product. And then a 4 times 3, well, we only have one negative sign, and we assigned it to the numerator. Don't treat 4 as negative as well. So this is 4 times 3. It's 12. So 8 twelfths plus negative 3 twelfths. We're finding out how many twelfths we had, just as we did here. So now, we can leave our answer, our sum in terms of twelfths, and just add 8 plus negative 3, which is 5. 